Hello guys and girls, hope everyone is doing great. Today I'm going to share one of my DIYs with you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it and like it. And let's get started. So the things you will need is I have this 2-in-1 craft tool that I got as a gift. Um, it comes with five, uh, like the pins, like stencil pins, and it has different shades in it so you can feel free to check this out uh, I, I think I got it from Walmart somebody gifted me and I saw this at Walmart and uh, you can get your um, wood piece or wood canvas uh, this is my wood canvas that I'm gonna work on it today I have also made it previously just to try out my stencils these are the stencils um, front end pins so I do just try out these different tips up here um, I just used this and made a sample out of it so that I have idea better idea of uh, which one is uh, um, what kind of shape so this is my sample one but today I'm gonna try to make this one and I have everything laid out so I wanted a picture um, since I have a sister come friend best friend she has uh, she had a baby girl yesterday yes and I'm so happy and uh, so just to give her a personalized unique gift I thought of this and uh, this is gonna be my picture since I don't have a picture yet but I'm gonna try to get one picture but this is gonna be the size of the picture I want so I just laid it out and around the surroundings I wrote my message with pencil so you can write whatever you want this is a cool idea like here is the date of birth for her and then here it says journey begins and then here is my message for my um, friend and her husband also in the bottom I just made a cute funny little PS statement so this is what the stencil cutter looked like right here and it's uh, I already started heating it and it, you have to let it heat for 10 minutes and all the instructions are behind this you can feel free to read it and uh, you will be able to find it uh, online as well so once it's heated up you have to be very careful because you don't have to touch anything because if you touch bare hands it's gonna definitely you're gonna get burned severe burn which you don't want which I already got the first time I did it so you don't want that and uh, if you wanna take the tip out the uh, the front tip here I'm pretty sure it's hot already but uh, if you want to take that out, you have to wait, you have to turn it off and then wait for 10 minutes or to cool it down. Once it's cooled down, you can use the pliers to change it. Or if you want to use it right away, then you can just turn it off and then use the pliers to take, change the tip. So as you see, I'm using the cone point tip. It's right here, cone point. Since I want my writings to to not be like too thick, or else if you want thick, then you can use the flow point, which I don't like it very much. So you can use cone point, which I'm looking here. So it's a medium point, and the pressure depends on if you want to use it. If you want to make it too dark, then you can put more pressure on it and then let it be there for a while, which will make it even darker. And if not, if you want to make it lighter, it's you have to press it accordingly. So it all depends on the pressure how you press it and how much time you let it be there so let's get started now I'm starting to write my message I'm just gonna try to trace it if I can well enough and um, it's pretty hot I'm holding it from here and I still feel the heat so you can assume how much hot would it be and I don't want to burn myself so I'll be careful and let's start You can see the smoke. The curves are the hardest ones and you can always light trace it and then go back and then trace it harder according to the thickness and darkness you want and I think that's what I'm gonna do
right as you all can see now I have uh, traced it twice uh, on each letter so it's readable and it's dark enough I know some of the letters are still like um, not very clear but that's how much clear clarity would it, it would be because it's really tough to have it exactly uh, just like your handwriting very clear because of the tip points so this is the best we can do and if you can do it better than me oh, that's amazing please do share your um, pictures or videos with me if you plan on doing such DIYs at home and now I have changed my uh, point to the shading point so since I have some uh, empty spots here on the sides I'm planning on doing some shade uh, flowery shades with the shading point on each corner right here so let's see how it turns out and then once I get the picture in the middle I bet it will look beautiful and let's see if that's there you go and the way I'm planning to do my picture is um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and glue it. You can also transfer a picture on the wood directly. Um, but since I don't have enough time, so I will just go ahead and do it uh, the way it's easier and faster for me. Because usually you can transfer a picture to the wood canvas uh, very easily, but it, you have to let it dry overnight, which is not easy right now for me because I needed to hand it over to her right now today because I'm visiting her to hospital today so I have to do it before I go so I don't have enough time I don't have 24 hours to let it dry and all that stuff but so I'm just gonna opt out with the easy way but uh, there's a different way too that you can just uh, go ahead and um, transfer your picture on the wood canvas itself and it looks amazing and this one looks amazing too, as I already tried out the way I'm thinking of doing it so that I don't have to waste my wood canvas or, and the precious design that I already made. So I already tried it out and be sure, make sure you try it out before you actually attempt it on a large base like I'm doing right now. So you have to make sure that you try it out on a small wood or block of wood or whatever you feel like, but make sure you try it out with each of the uh, tips, the pin, uh, the points and shades and everything so that you have better idea when you're trying to do it on a longer scale or a larger scale. So let's see. Hopefully the shade shading point is already hidden enough so we can go ahead and do our designs on the sides. All right. As I said, always try before attempting on a larger scale. So I'm going to try and see if it's hot enough and what way I want my design to be. And it, this is kind of tricky. This shading point is kind of tricky because uh, you have to make sure um, if you want to get a specific design, you have to make sure you do the same step every single time because it's going to be hard if you don't do it. And the design is going to definitely turn out different each time. As you can see, I'm still not getting my required design. So I'm still trying to see if it's hot enough. It's hot enough. Alrighty. Let's see. As I said, you have to be very, very careful while doing this. And feel free to move the board accordingly or the wood the way you want it. There is my design, and you can feel free to go ahead and do it again to just get the desired shape. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. Don't worry too much if it's not exactly the same as the other side because as I said it this is wood and this is um, 
unpredictable the way it is because of the shape of the pin and there you go and since that one is a little darker I'm gonna make this one darker as well a little dark This one is a little crooked, but hey, it works. And I'm going to do the same thing here. This design is going to be different because I'm doing here and here a different way. So this corners, this one and that one is going to be same and this diagonal corners will be the same. There you go. And yes, you can definitely uh, feel free to color your wood canvas before you proceed with a wood carving if you want. Um, I, I usually like mine to be plain because that way it shows up really nice and bright whenever I do my carving and it actually shows up like I have actually carved it so I, I like it the way it is plain and yes if it's not smooth enough like mine is you can definitely feel free to uh, make the wood edges and everything smoother by the cardboard um, not sorry not cardboard the sandpaper and that's pretty much it looks good I have used the same shading point and I just added two of this on these two sides and that's that side. Now I have changed the flow point tip right here. I've changed it to the flow point uh, tip. So let's see how it turns out. Alright, what I'm planning, to, uh, what I'm thinking of doing is um, make this as a cloud box right here. Like a call out box and same thing up here as well. And once it's done, let's see how it turns out and how it looks. If needed, then I can fill it with uh, some dots here on the border. So let's see how it turns out. Alright, so I went ahead and uh, did the call out border kind of thing and then both up here, up here, and then I just drew the uh, line here. And I like how it has, it is like you can tell the shape as well as it's still dotted. I like it, I don't want it bold because then it won't let my words read out properly. And that's why I like it how it's uh, dotted so you can read the letters in the bold. And I went ahead and did the borders with the dots, just the plain dots. And it looks like it's ready. And once the picture will come in, let's see how it looks once the picture come in. I think it will look amazing. What do you guys think? Let's see. Let's wait for your answer after it's done completely. And let's see what you guys think about it. Alright guys, here is the picture of my cutie angel. Um, I cut it 5 by 7 inch on just regular piece of paper. Just like regular normal paper, I had it uh, pr color printed. Um, this is the glue I used, just regular school glue, uh, Elmer's, and uh, I just glued it off. And then make sure once you start putting it in, there are no bubbles or nothing. Because if there are bubbles, then it won't, you, it would be hard for you to peel it off because then it will easily tear because this is just a regular paper it's not glossy or anything like that and then on top of that Mod Podge uh, I'm gonna use gloss one so that it will seal it my picture if it will seal my picture on place and uh, it will also give it a nice shiny gloss uh, just like here this one this one is if you, I don't know if you can see it 
clear enough but there is some gloss here and right there and um, you can see how beautiful it looks and how much and the color also pops out once you put the Mod Podge on top of the picture um, it really turns out right and nice enough and you can see it it doesn't look like a normal regular paper anymore it looks like it's just a glossy thick paper that is stick onto this but yeah the end result is beautiful and as you can see it just this picture made it even more beautiful the entire uh, wood piece looks amazing and uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna put some border here I'll put I'm trying to put the uh, lace border or something like that so you can see okay, so for my border of the picture uh, I'm gonna use I was thinking of using a lace but then I found this um, it's uh, like a wine paper it has like uh, it's kind of like fabric on top and then it's paper paper so it's like wine paper it's called you can get it on Hobby Lobby or um, Walmart or uh, Michaels yeah, you can buy this. It, it comes in whole stack. So I found this and uh, I already cut the way I wanted and I just glue it here, regular glue and then glue here. And as you can see, I have used Mod Podge and it's still wet, but uh, once it dries out, it's going to be a little shiny and glossy here. As you can see, it's still wet. And once it's ready in they can you can gift it to your friends or whoever you made it if you made it for yourself you can keep it and you can put a hook in the back to hang it on the wall right here and um if you're not um if you're not a person who wants likes hanging stuff and just put it on the dresser you can feel free to just put it like that and this one since i'm putting this on carpet but usually it stays uh, straight without any support but it will stay on the dressing table or a table lamp or anything like that. And also, if you would like, you can also um, color this, as I said earlier, color the borders or color the back of it. Uh, I usually don't like it because, um, I don't know, I'm the person who doesn't like to color uh, the wood because I like it naturally, especially when I'm doing the carving. Um, for other stuff, I might like it. And you can also um, put laces here around the borders so you can make it creative that way. Or one more idea you can do is you can uh, uh, use Sharpie to create minor designs at the border. So I think I might do that, but I'm not sure. But um, you can feel free to try various things. There are various options you can do it. I mean, it doesn't take that long. This art is like perfect for not just pictures or you can just do different various designs and it's up to you you can be as creative as you want and that's it for now all right friends so hopefully you liked my video uh this little diy project and feel free to go with go above and beyond um with creativity whatever you like to feel free to do so and definitely 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 let me know if you if there are any other variations or if you try this out uh, do share a picture um on comment below and i would definitely love to look at it and do share your thoughts about this project how you liked it and if you want to see it for the more videos or there are specific requirements or that you want to see Please do let me know. I will try my level best to include those videos as well. And if there are any questions uh, for the materials that I used in my video, feel free to reach out to me and I will try to reply you as soon as I can. Um, don't hesitate for any questions you have. Feel free to reach out and hopefully you enjoyed it. And thanks so much for watching it and I'll be back soon with some other video. Thank you. Have a good day.